Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a glorious, wonderful, wondrous, wonderful day. <laughs> Try to think about that one. <laughs> Don't you love to hear her laugh? Oh, you guys. Maybe I'll get her to snort today. I doubt it. I don't know, I could try. It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh my Sorry. gosh, guys. He oh. has been full of... Uh, <laughs> what? She said I've been full of piss and vinegar <laughs> all day. He has. So. He's made his gumbo. And, uh, I don't know, maybe too much hot sauce is in his system or something. I'm not sure. Well, I mean to tell you, it was... It, it's a big pot of gumbo. It is a huge pot of gumbo, like gallons Probably upon three gallons. three gallons or something like that. Yeah, something like that. So, I just thought, you know, I'm making this journal cover for the brown journal. Let's call it the brown lace journal, I guess. And, uh, kind of show you the process again. I know you guys have seen it. Countless times, but Countless that's times, all right. but so many of you guys like to just see exactly what we do. And I thought I'd bring you along, either that or it would just be me and Clint. <laughs> How boring is I that? Needed some, I needed somebody else. Boy, I could, that's what I got out of the whole thing. <laughs> Boy, that's boring. <laughs> that's my wife. No comment. Okay, so I'm going to do 15 inches, I think, on this. This is some of that really thick, um, what's it called? Interfacing. Interfacing. And we really like to use this for our, um, journal covers. People use it, like, for, you know, um, fabric projects that you want to kind of have some stability to it, like a fabric bowl or something. And that's where we first started going, going with it, and, um, because Clint, at one time, had made tons of little fabric bowls for Christmas presents one yep. year. And he had tons of this stuff left. Drinking coffee. I needed coffee today. And I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but... I'm turning her into one. Mm-hmm. This is our Starbucks, the cinnamon coffee. And this one says, Nap Team Captain. Boy, ain't that the God's own truth. My sister got me that for Christmas a couple of years ago. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like cinnamon. What is it? That's it. Starbucks cinnamon. Cinnamon something else, I thought. Uh-uh. No? It's not but cinnamon. it's really good. That's my favorite. So, pretty, it's got pretty sure it's got something else. Sugar. That it, I don't know. Anyways, that's what that is. I need my defuzzer. Sorry, guys. So, I hope everyone's having... What day is this for Mondays? Yeah. Oh, this is going to show Monday, guys. Well, today to you guys. <laughs> really? I mean, it's not the same Monday as it is like Tuesday, so. <laughs> you get? Uh, I'm trying. He's been trying my nerves all day long, guys. <laughs> Literally. I've been behaving. Well, I've kind of been behaving. No, he has not. I haven't been behaving. I kind of, I kind of went off today. That's okay. We don't have to discuss that. Oh, we're not. <laughs> Not at me. I went off my rocker, I guess I should say. Oh, yeah. He went off his trolley. My trolley was derailed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shout-out to Shabby Gabby Udall. Good day, mate. <laughs> That's a shout-out to Rhonda. <laughs> and the others in Australia. Good day, mate. Uh, okay, guys. Um, I don't know where this came from, but... Who knows? I'm going to cut it down, and that's going to be like the base of the cover. So, Jazzy Lynn, honey, honey girl, honey girl, go over here and take a nap. There you go. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Been sleeping all day. Oh. Between her and that little bubba, I tell you, today has been... Look at my hand. Little brat. I don't know if you can see it, but all these little red, bright red things. I did put some of my oh, awesome on. medicine on it to keep the... Um, yeah, keep it down a little bit. Helps with the itching. It does. Kinda it takes feeling. away kind of the itching, the itchiness. It's uh, homeopathic stuff, I guess. 
that we it's make. A weed. We make it. It is. It's a weed. <laughs> weed in your backyard yes. or your front yard. We also make cough syrup too. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff. Sure, we haven't done that. We didn't do that last year, so we don't have any now. I'm hoping to. Cold. I know, right? Yeah, I'm hoping that I can share that with you guys this year. Yeah, should be able. Some to. of our kind of, you know, what we gather through. Michelle, really? <laughs> I cut the layer below it. <laughs> Clint's going to be mad at me. Oh, and then I'm going to hand this over either. to Clint. Because, what? you know, you're going to have to put that stuff on it. Oh, seriously? Yeah, because you're so good with that. Don't blow smoke, babe. <laughs> Man, that sucks. When do you need that? So, I'll do it. Uh, I need to do it right now, though. Oh. So, what I'm going to do is, yeah, because I have to start the cover and I can't start it until Oh, this guys, point. she didn't say that. She could have said that before we started this video. Well, I didn't realize I was going to need to do it. Here. Okay, so I am going to, um, I realize that. I'm going to go iron on the fusible web, or have Clint do it, and then we're going to iron this piece on. You should and see then, the grin she's got on her... <laughs> <laughs> when she said, well, I'm going to have Clint do it. She had a big old cheesy uh, grin. And then we'll be right back. <laughs> it is not as We'll see you guys in chatting. a minute. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, so, Clint did this for me. He's such a good husband. <laughs> and then while he was waiting for the iron to heat up and all that good stuff, because, you know, I didn't tell him ahead of time. I went ahead and did the dishwasher because when he makes gumbo, hey, what's wrong? There's a lot of dirty dishes. Yeah. I don't know. He's parred right here beside me talking. But let me show you guys. So we're going to kind of do another lace. Sorry about that. Let's move it over just a little bit. Maybe I won't hit it so much. Another lace cover, and, you know, of course, it won't be the same as the last lace one that we did because, obviously it won't be, because I don't have all that same lace. So, what I'm going to do is, I thought this might work kind of for like a foundation piece, kind of. So... And it's not really wide enough, but I think it, you know, is long enough. So, I'm going to cut that. But, you know, Clint took his scissors. Excuse my gray hair. <laughs> my scissors, and then I'll just trim it. I think I'm going to trim it long enough so I can kind of fold it over. You know, when we're ready to sew. But yeah, when he makes gumbo, it's like, there's so much that goes into it. I mean, you're looking at probably 12 cups of uh, bell peppers, 12 cups of onions, parsley, and, you know, all that stuff. Plus the meat that he puts in it, which is turkey and turkey sausage. So it's like every bowl in the house is sturdy. It was kind of disheartening to look in the kitchen because <laughs> it's like, uh, it's piled high. But it's done. Clint's here, Aww, drinking, he drinking his coffee. He was right here beside me. This could be right here. It was Biddy. Biddy's over there. With Biddy she's was right here beside me. Now she's taking, she's cleaning him up. So I am. I think I'm going to glue it down a little bit. I did not make that for you, little girl. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of maybe around the edges, just to kind of, I don't know how it'll hold, but just to kind of get it um, stuck down so that when we sew, you know, and it won't show up too much or shift on us. 
But yeah, so I did cleaned up the kitchen pretty much. I still have like big bowls to wash and stuff, but all the little stuff is in the dishwasher. And we have one of those dishwashers that <coughs> connects to the kitchen sink, so you can't, because we have a really old house, so you can't wash dishes and like wash, hand wash dishes at the same time. So that's okay. I can take a break. I feel like I'm doing something when the dishwasher's on. Exactly. <laughs> So, let that sit for just a minute. Like I said, it's not really a tutorial. It's just like a, you know, join me and chat. Still has some coffee left. It wasn't that long ago. That we were there. And then I saw this. This is a manufactured piece. And I think Clint was right that he said I bet you could cover the whole cover with that especially if you kind of pulled it I think you're right hon I think it's gonna work Do and need I don't think it? I'm gonna have to cut it or anything because see it has tag off. oh yeah I have to take it off marker? Yeah, do you have one? Uh, I believe, well, I do, but I'm not 100% sure. If or it's I can clip it maybe with my pointy scissors. Huh. Oh. oh, here's my pointy scissors. Ignore my hair. <laughs> oh, I think I left my scissors. Uh. Yeah, I don't even see it. Oh, here it is, right here. Oh, okay. I think I might have it, okay. I got it right. If I can just get that one little, because <coughs> what's going to happen, I'm not sure actually, but I'm thinking I might just let the <coughs> edges of this just kind of hang over the edge of the book. I think that would be pretty. That would be neat. Just leave it you there. You know, yeah, oh, just kind of awesome. like this and just kind of <coughs> sew and then whatever the overhang is. Just let it be. Just let it be as part as the journal. I think that'd be really pretty. Sounds like a Yeah, I kind of like that idea. So let me get this other one without cutting anything. I shouldn't. But yeah, it's nice here, you know. Oh, it's going to snow. Well, so I keep telling my friend, I keep saying, oh, it's going to snow. And she's like, it is not. I had to write her today and say, okay, fine, you win. <laughs> Because <laughs> they say it's going to snow all the time and it never it does. does. Nothing. <laughs> I was like, fine, Deb, you win. <laughs> Weather people. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and sew around this part so I can, you know, tuck all that under. And then we'll come back and put that one on. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So, let me drink. Sip of coffee, bring my sewing machine over. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. So, I had some fun uh, response with the 3 and 30. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> uh I tell you, it was a little bit challenging, but I made it, you know. She made it. She did good. I'm checking my bobbin just to see. It's got pink thread in there. I think I have enough, though. We'll try it. I might regret that, but I don't yeah. think it's going to matter. You know, it being pink, because you're not really going to see it anyways. The bo bobbin. So. <laughs> Let's change that to straight stitch for the cats outside. Yeah. Screaming. Okay. Where'd your baby girl go? Is she still sleeping? I mean. Little one? Yeah. Okay. She's really been like a mama's girl, and we're talking about Jazzy Lynn. And uh, so she's kind of like, she wants to be with me all the time. Which is kind of sweet, but <laughs> kind of hard when you're, you know, sewing and stuff. So, I'm just going to sew around the um, 
just around the edge of that stuff, interfacing stuff or whatever it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's foaming. Yeah. 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 Thick. Stabilizer. Thick. Like super thick. Super thick stabilizer stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Just to keep it in place and then, you know, when we fold it over that other piece. kind of wanted a nice background. Okay. Jazzy Lane got a new straw today. She was so happy. It was so adorable. <laughs> she just is, oh, it's just so precious. She's just a sweetheart. She is so appreciative of anything you give her, you know, and just giving her a straw makes her day, so, you know. It really does. It's incredible. How yeah. She it was just like, oh, for me. <laughs> She's kind of got the same uh, reaction that Chloe does. Yeah. Just a very grateful little cat. So it's really, really sweet. hard especially if you glue it down first you know it just makes it so much easier than trying to yeah you guys know oh honey I tell you if you oh, would listen to me when I was talking <laughs> hey I have all my teeth Smile. I ran no, out. I of, don't feel bad. I ran out of bobbin. <laughs> See, instant I, karma. Mm. Oh, you guys, you guys. This is what I put up with every day. I know you're thinking, especially Gwendolyn. She seems like she would always be on Clint's side. Yep. So she. That's <laughs> what you get, Michelle. Yeah, for. Yeah, first. But yeah, that's the first layer. Hmm. I don't mind repeating myself. I'm used to it. Huh? <laughs> no. I've heard her. I've heard her. I've heard her. Oh. Like she said, I'm full of piss and vinegar today. Oh, man. Good job, Slim. Okay, I'm going to go do my bobbin, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, while I was filling up my bobbin, I used up the rest of my brown thread. And I went and got another thread and came back, and it's an olive green. So, then I had to find another brown. So, anyways, I keep these old bobbins because Jazzy Lynn loves them. So, and I can always wrap, like, fabric or something around them. What? Are you laughing? I'm fat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Think, why is he laughing? Karma, karma. And the thing is, you know, I was thinking, yeah, he's saying karma, but I didn't do anything bad today. Clint did, but I didn't. Why am I being punished? Because <laughs> I didn't stop him. <laughs> it's really hard to stop Clint <laughs> when he makes up his mind. So it's a slightly different color. It's not going to bother me. We're not really going to see it anyways, right? Well, then no big deal. Then no big deal, but Clint's like, ooh, that color is so ugly with the um, <laughs> olive that. green. Well, you, ins it. you insinuated it. It didn't look very good. <laughs> and I know there's people in here who do not like green, which, you know, I don't get, but... So, I'm going to tell you guys again my story. Green is my favorite color, right? And the reason? It used to be pink. So, but, um, I guess I've been ornery for a long time. Oh, sorry, and, guys. 
I had one of my friends in high school, so, you know, a couple of years ago, and she said that she could not stand the color green. And about that time, Walmart came out with like, um, was like a rainbow color of clothing. So it was like green pants, green shirts, all the same shade, you know, it was like, so you could get like pink pants, pink shirt, pink, oh you know, purple pants, purple shirt. Well, I went in and bought a whole green outfit <laughs> and wore it just for her. <laughs> she says I'm full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> oh, but I've changed since then. <laughs> Buffalo chips are full of it. So, and then I just wore so much green. So, yeah, that's kind of how I got to where green's my favorite <laughs> color. And then my best friend up in, one of my best friends up in Dove Creek, she um, never liked green. And so I would tease her because we would babysit her kids. She had five kids. And I would tease her that one of her kids is going to love the color green. And so I'd keep pressure, pressuring her kids. You guys like green, don't you? And now one of her kids' favorite color is green. Yep. So I won. <laughs> Hi, Kendra, if you're watching. So that's my niece I always talk about. Uh, she's my best friend's little girl. Little girl. She's in her 30s now, but you know. Uh, so what I'm doing is about six and a half inches on either side because I think I went 15. I only really need about six inches, but... And then I wanted to show you guys how I do this because Clint has talked about making some um, covers just to put in the store. Yeah. So they'll probably be quilted covers or, you know, something that he likes to do. Yeah, those are going to be quilted. And ones I don't want to use. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know. Right now I have like six or eight that I really want to do. Journals. So... I'll probably make the covers for those and maybe he can make like fabric flips or something because I know uh, some people get sad when there's not a piece of Clint in the in the uh, journal. <laughs> oh, how <Kateri. laughs> That just made my day. Kateri's like, but Clint didn't make anything. <laughs> That's when I made the pen holder. Yeah, he made the pen holder for her, so. Yeah, so I think that will work. So I still think I can put two signatures in here. I was going to see if I did it the right size. And if I did, yeah, that's almost two inches. So one and three quarters. So that, that will work. Uh, on the back, we, he still has the paper from the fusible web on the back. Because um, he put it on and he wasn't supposed to, but that's okay. She has it to me. Whatever. She says, here, here's all your stuff. Well, what am I, I supposed to do? I cut it because I was doing dishes, so he didn't ask me. And then I'm like, honey, what are you doing? It to me. <laughs> yeah. Guys. It's one of those days. And you know how it just feels like nothing's going right today? Even though it hasn't been bad. It hasn't been a bad day. No. Minus since there's no snow. You know. We do have cats, so I always have one of these things around just in case, because no matter how much you clean, you're going to have hair flying, and it's that time of year when they're shedding really bad, so I'm sorry, but necessary evil with cats. And who was it? Was it Gwendolyn? Somebody asked me, what are the name of all your cats? I don't remember. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw it, but I don't remember who it was. Oh, I was thinking, oh no. Was that on uh, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, it was on YouTube. I thought it was Gwendolyn, but it could have been someone else. But it was so cute. I was thinking, oh no, what are all their names? <laughs> so, our oldest is Sammy. And he's he's getting up there. Yeah, he's getting up there. He's, uh, he's still doing really well. He, you know, I think he's probably almost 15 now uh, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of tack this kind of tightly just to see if um, you know I can 
kind of stretch it, make sure it doesn't have to be stretched if it's going to, you know, do well. So, what? I just Garfield. Oh, I thought you were looking at. Yeah, Sammy's the oldest, and then it's. Yeah, we have Sammy, and then we have Lily May. <laughs> is her name, and the the way she got her name is Clint would call her. She was an outside cat, one we brought in. Well, all of them were really, except for Chloe. But um, she was. Clint would call her a little girl, and I didn't like that name. <laughs> so I said. Mainly because we had another one at one time that was kind of called Little Girl. And so she already came to that name. And so I changed it to Lily May. So. And she has been my cat. She's, it's probably her way of thanking me for changing her name. Probably. <laughs> you think? <laughs> so, but uh, Lily May. And then we have. Chloe's the next. Chloe and Chloe we got at a farm and garden show we went and that was right when we um, we um, lost Cuddles Cuddles we lost her about six weeks or so before that yeah and our other cat we had a, an older cat that we had since Clint and I got married we got her about a month or so after we got married and she would just she was a bedroom cat too and she never came out of the bedroom. She didn't like to come out. So, because they were bullying her. And so we got Chloe. Because she, Precious Because was Precious so would sad. just, I mean, would just scream and scream and scream. And the thing with Chloe is we went to the farm and garden show. And, uh, you know, the shelter was there. And we saw these cats. And I'm like, she's so boring. She must have just got done playing because man she's never been boring since we got her no, no. <laughs> told Clint she's quiet she has no personality <laughs> yeah anyways on the way home how she got her name was on the way home she would uh she started screaming the loudest screams of a cat I've ever heard and we've had some cats that scream you know they don't want to be in the carrier when you're taking them to the yeah. uh, doctor and stuff man she was screaming so I looked up loudmouth cat names on <laughs> on Google or whatever and um, Chloe came up and I called her Chloe and it was like she instantaneously knew her name she she, did. she never anytime Clint started calling her Chloe she would come I mean she was and she's been like that you know if you're in her house she's gonna check you out because oh yeah with dogs and stuff so and then we gave her the middle name M Marie because all the girls need a middle name because they always get in trouble and after my mom because <laughs> my sister and I started that a long time ago but uh, so Chloe has her has my mom's middle name because we never did have kids you know and then, who is next? Bubby? Bubby next? Yeah. Bubby is next, and he was actually, uh, his real name is Pooh Bear. And we had another one, kitten, that I fell in love with, but it ended up getting killed outside. That's why none of our cats go outside. And his name was like Eeyore. I think we had like Eeyore, Piglet, and... Pooh Bear, but the other two were, I think a skunk or something got them when they were babies. Yeah. And so we didn't want anything to happen to Bubby, so we brought Bubby in. And Clint would always call him Bubba and Buddy. Buddy. So he ended up as Bubby. So, and then we had the triplets, which is Minnie Mo. No, I'm kidding. I was, oh my God. <laughs> is that what you're thinking? I was thinking you said that. <laughs> I seriously, that's exactly what I was going to say. So, oh, we actually named them, I named, I wanted two little, like, bear names. And so, I, I came up with the two little black boys. Look like little bears. So, I wanted bear names. And, um, I came up with Cubby. And Clint says, what about Little Bear? So, we came up with Cubby and Little Bear, which we kind of switched to Bitty Bear. 
Kobe gets in trouble too, so he got Clint's middle name, which is Dean. So we can, you know, you know how it is when you have kids, you have to call them by their middle name so they know they're in trouble. It works, <laughs> It does work. So, and then he named Little Bear, which is Bitty Bear or Pard. Pard. So that's Clint's Pard, who is Clint's little guy. And what's funny is he was my little guy for the first long for a long time but I was always concerned about him because he didn't seem like he was growing well so I thought he might have that failure to thrive and I was worried about him I even have it like in my journal from that time and then Clint started paying him more attention so he kind of stole my cat but you know whatever she he was her cat for like four days it was like four teen days it wasn't very long. <laughs> but anyways, he really took to daddy after that. Yeah, he's my boy. And then Sophia, Clint named so Sophia, but let me tell you the name that he gave her. We thought she was a boy, so he named her Stumpy. She had the shortest legs. And I never really liked that, but, you know, I thought, well, I'll let him name her. Gotcha. And then when we went to Clint, one day Clint's like, uh, she doesn't have any danglies. <laughs> And she already came by the name Stumpy, so I came up with Sophia because, you know, it's kind of similar. similar, and she has my middle name, which is Renee, so we have Sophia Renee. And then we have, <laughs> I could just do a video on the cats, huh? Then there was Jazzy Lynn. Jazzy Lynn, and I named her because I liked the name Jasmine, and then I came up with the Lynn because I liked the name Jazzy Lynn. And then Arctic is the baby. Just recently came into the house and he's a love bug. Oh my God. And he, um, Clint named him because he looks kind of like a, a, a polar bear kind of. Oh, he's got the those brilliant blue, blue eyes. eyes. And I wanted a nice, kind of an icy name. He wanted to name him Arctic. Frank Sinatra first, but I said. Well, all blue eyes, you know. Every time he Frank. named him, called him Frank, I'd think of Frank Burns on MASH. Bear face. <laughs> And I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Which I'm glad because I love that name. It's and Artie perfect. is, he, oh, he's a doll baby, guys. So yeah. sweet. But he has a middle name, too, and his middle name is Arctic James. Jesus. And I don't know why my stepfather's name was, was, middle name was James. Or, no, I guess his first name was. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's the only reason. But, so those are our cats' names. Was that nine? I, <laughs> I didn't count. That was all of them, <laughs> Turn around Let's and see. look at the back of the couch. He's hanging up on the couch. There's five on the couch right now. Isn't that funny? That is so funny. He is that. So then, yeah, I think that's all of them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just in case you guys were wondering, once in a while we'll have new people and they're like, How many cats do you have? And I love it when they say, Oh, we have eight. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Gonna just tack it kind of in the center just a little bit uh, when I sew in the signatures you know it's not going to shift or anything but um, yeah I don't really want it to shift anyways and then I figured once I sew around it um, I'll pick my front you know I'm just kind of putting a blob underneath it just to kind of keep some of it in place because sometimes when you so around it, it kind of pulls or something. I really don't want that. So, but yeah. And we used to have dogs. We've, I think we lost our last dog three years ago because my mom's been gone for four. And it was actually on her birthday, the year, a year after she had passed, that we lost our oldest dog, our last dog. And, uh, his name was Baxter. He was a black dog. We named him Baxter Black. And we have had many, many dogs. I used to work at the animal shelter. And sometimes, and it was back when they euthanized, so sometimes it was bring them home or, yeah. yeah so we brought a lot home. <laughs> We're just more cat so, people. So, yeah. Yeah, we are. And, you know, I just love the cat people, or the cats, because, you know, they're not so excitable and stuff and with Clint and his you know dexterity issues walking and stuff he like he tripped over the cat this morning over um, the little boy and you know it's just 
kind of hard not to have, I mean, to have a little dog or something. I do miss having a dog, but, you know, I don't miss, like, walking a dog. <laughs> no. I'm lazy. Oh, speaking of lazy. <laughs> If you're following me on Weight Watchers, I am still hanging in there with Weight Watchers, and I am down now 20.2 pounds in, oh, since smokes. December the 30th. Holy smokes, what? Me? Yeah. Oh, Clint's so sweet. Mm. Clint's my biggest supporter. Heck yeah, I am. Raw, raw, raw. <laughs> 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 oh, I gotta go stuff my gumbo. I have a headache. So, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Let's try it. Just see. So, that's kind of what it's going to look like. And then this is going to just kind of hang there. Oh, I love it. So, again, we'll kind of see which side has more overage and how we want to do it. So, I take a chance that it's dry. Maybe I will. Okay, so let's pull this up. I want to zigzag around that. I think that would look really pretty. I know, sweetheart. Come yeah, here, honey. We'll do a three. Daddy, come on, honey. Come on. <laughs> oh, you come here, baby. Uh, I love you. <clears throat> so let's kind of start on this corner, like towards the back, because uh, if there's any issues, hopefully there won't be any issues. But you never know. You never know with, with me. Yeah, part is Clint's little little guy. We have had a few, you know, like um, we lost our oldest when we were married about 18 years. Yeah, she did for a while. Yeah, and we're up to 22 years, so about four years ago. Mm. And she was just the sweetest little. Yeah. In fact, her name was Precious. She was. She was just a sweetheart, and all she wanted was mommy and daddy. She didn't want anything else. She was not a, not she was a not a cat's cat. cat, you know. She, yeah. She didn't have anything to do with cats, so she didn't want anything to do with. Cats. The only one she ever really loved was our first part, which was dad's cat. And then, yeah, and then we found out that you know when Cuddles passed that she had really loved her she because loved her. you know at least the companionship if nothing else because man she was so heartbroken. And then we got Chloe, and then when Cuddles passed or Precious passed, she was heartbroken. But you know they definitely have feelings. I can kind of see where the brown uh, line is. I'm just kind of staying on the right, kind of one side and over that line, in case you're wondering how I'm able to see <laughs> where I'm sewing. And hopefully it'll look okay when I'm done. a piece I picked up at a yard sale or a thrift store I think I think of the thrift store okay. or a yard sale I don't know so um, on Friday we didn't tell you guys this but there's a um, wood place near here and you can get like remnants of wood so Clint's going logs. to yeah like remnants of logs and so we went and he got some more logs. So we're hoping that some of the ink blenders might have a little bit more color. And plus, you know, he's kind of saving, you know, uh, repurposing some of that wood, which is fun. But man, the pile was massive. How tall do you think that wood pile was? Oh, I bet it's probably 40 foot tall. Really? You think that's all? I was oh, thinking 40, like 50, 50. it was so big and Clint's up there climbing on this wood. I think we got a picture somewhere, but I didn't take one, but my friend did. And uh, Clint's like skiing on top pile of wood. I'm thinking he's going to have like an avalanche of wood on top of him, but he was fine. <laughs> For old crit, I'm pretty agile. He did pretty good. I was like, uh-uh, I'm not walking up there. But I'm not agile <laughs> at all. No. 
I'm really not. I'm a klutz. It amazes me how agile I still am. I know, me too. That. Being so crippled. Uh, I hope that didn't. Did you mess that? No, I was just thinking my edge. I hope I didn't sew it under, but I guess we'll find out. Like a piece I didn't want to sew under. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have a lot to talk about today, I guess. But you know, that's what you get here at the Rambling Crafter. Hi, Glennis. I know you're watching. Yes, of course. <laughs> it was a good day. I mean, it really was. I mean, it was good to have breakfast with Sid. Yeah, we ended up having breakfast with my sister and her friend, her best friend. So, you know, and then we did a few things with them, like went to the rock pile and stuff, or the wood pile. wood pile and... And then Clint and I went, you know, and bought groceries before we went to the wood pile. And uh, right as we were, what, a hundred, no, about a thousand foot from home, he had a, the car broke down, but he was able to get home. It was like a the fan, belt broke. fan belt or something broke. So that was a God thing because, you know, otherwise we would have been stuck on the side of the road. Yeah. And we talked about making a couple of extra stops, but decided we were just tired and wanted to get home. Yeah. And, yeah, so it worked out. But Oh, and I remember one other thing I wanted to tell you guys. <laughs> uh, Gail. Oh, me? Oh, that's cool. So, Gail mentioned us in her last video, so if you saw that, you'll have to, I have to tell you the story, but... <clears throat> this, the first part is, I'm losing my hearing, just so you know. <laughs> so, I'm watching Gail, and she's doing that 3 and 30, I think it was like number, it was letter G or something, and she said something like, oh, I think that's fine, and Clint looks at me, and he goes, <gasps> She's drinking wine, too, because she's, like, Russian and everything. And I'm thinking, how is she going to drink wine and <laughs> do 3 and 30? So I, I told her what she said, what he, Clint said. And uh, so she mentioned it on her channel. She was laughing. <laughs> she was laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my hair. She told me that wouldn't be good for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might be pretty good for the audience. We might really enjoy that, Gail. <laughs> So if you heard that, then that's what it was, is, yeah, she, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? I really like that, guys. I like it. I think it looks good. That looks really nice for that cover. It looks really good. Um, what do I want the top to be? doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but, you know, I want it to look nice the front. I like it. I yeah. It and it's pretty centered. I think I did pretty good, you know, sewing that on there. So now I just have to figure out the inside fabric. Do you think I should use the same stuff? Shiny stuff? stuff? Yeah, or should I put like a I color? Think I'd go with it Maybe like with a calico or something. Calico's like little tiny flowers on the background. Hmm. So I'm gonna oh. go find, huh? Have you seen it? Do we have any? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go find something for the inside. I think we're done. we're good on time. I don't know if we're good or not, but we'll see. We haven't been talking that long. I don't. I think you're okay as far as time is. Well, and this cover didn't take as long as the one did because yeah, I really liked it. So let me go do that. We'll do the inside really quick and then we'll be right back okay so we're going to it's not the rose though we're gonna kind of mess with some of this fabric uh clint's mother gave us this or we took it from her or whatever she gave it <laughs> she gave it she said just go through my fabric and pick which one you want and i happen to remember this when i was thinking about it and i was thinking of like one of these creamy colors for the inside 
So there's only two colors it looks like to choose from. Because I've used part of it. So. so I have this one, which I kind of like that. That one is really neat, yeah. And then this one, which is tinier. I think I like the bigger one. Yeah. So that was easy enough. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick how I'm going to cut it down. And then I'll go and have Clint iron it on the back. <laughs> got to turn on the iron. Biddy, honey, I'm sorry. i got to get up. Poor Bubba. <laughs> Poor Bubba. I could go turn it on. <laughs> but let me kind of show you how I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do, because Clint would be like, I thought you were going to cut it. No, honey, I wasn't. Ooh, that's perfect. So I don't have to, like, waste a bunch of it. But I want it to be just a little bit bigger around all the edges so I can kind of fold it under and have a nice clean seam. So, or edge, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it right about here. I am not near as, like, perfect as Clint is. I just kind of decide where I want to do it and do it. What is she insinuating, guys? That you're a quilter and I'm a paper crafter. That's the only thing I'm insinuating. She just stuck her tongue in the <laughs> I did not. Yeah, I did. I'm not going to lie. And it was greatly deserved. I beg to differ. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and trim because I can feel the edge and that is just too long. So I'm going to trim this side a little bit. <laughs> so Clint did not get a sewing chat done this week, but Sorry guys. maybe during the week he I will. I will during the week. I just, it's been kind of a rough day. Well, and he was doing, you know, gumbo. Gumbo is, seriously, he is like a two-day process. It's miserable. Because he used to do it all in one day, and it would take... All like day. eight hours, yeah. It's miserable. And sometimes he he would do like gumbo and homemade bread in the same day. He couldn't walk for like the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah. So we had to kind of re that rethink some of that. Getting all that aspirin blood that was that was a rough. lot, so yeah. Because he was like rough. surfing, it was really kind of interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go and glue this on. He does have the um. Fabri-Tac? No. no. What's it called? Fusible web. Fusible web on the inside. Or so. sticky crap. Sticky crap as Clint calls it. You guys know I don't call it that, but I do when he tells me to. <laughs> so I'm going to remove that and then we're going to sew that down and then I'll kind of show you how we're going to finish it up and then we'll be right back. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so I have some of this Grogain ribbon. Is that how you pronounce it? Anyways, um, and it's brown. There's going to be a lot of brown in this journal. And that was the only color I had that would go. I bought this huge pack of just different grove gro brain. Is that right? I don't know. I can't even think. Anyways, and um, I really like those. I think they're just a good sturdy, um, good sturdy tie for journals and what I do is I just kind of burn the tip of it wherever I cut it and I know you can put like um, what's it called like fray away or whatever you know no fray or whatever but this way I burn it and I don't have to wait for it to um, dry if I was to use like a glue so Let's do that on all four sides because I did cut that in, in half. And I love and it's the perfect size. I can't remember. If I remember, I'll put a link below on you know where I got it, but I got it on Amazon. And I really like it. Because otherwise it kind of just shreds away. So got that. Clint did finish my thing for me because he's so good like that. And what I'm going to do is kind of
kind of figure out where I want these guys. So what I'm going to do is do this. Working for you there, babe. I just got started. I was doing the, the gumbo this morning and I have to stand on the step ladder to do it. Yeah, because it's high. It's so high. <laughs> and Shell went and let Chloe out and I, so whenever she lets her out I always talk to her. And she come hauling butt into that kitchen and she jumped on the ladder right between my legs and was loving on me and just she just loved it, you know. She loves she, whenever Daddy's in the kitchen, she just loves it. Yeah, because I have a stool that and I plus sit she on. thinks she might get a little treat. Well, she does sometimes. <laughs> but she just loves to be there. She'll yeah, just... Clem puts the stool out for her. And, yeah. She... It's so sweet. It is really sweet. She's, she's his little guy. Little, little, little girl. Love, little girl. Yeah, that. So, I asked Clem to grab his little clips. Just because for Gwendolyn, I know she was stressing last time. There you go, Gwendolyn. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Michelle, you're really stressing me out. You need clips. So, I don't typically use them, as you, as you well know, but, you know. For Gwendolyn, I will. So... And that kind of, that is really nice. Uh, you can really make really pretty fabric flowers using this uh, satin. So you know, I was thinking I might can make like a flower or you know something like that inside the journal. Um, so those one pieces I made on the last uh, three and thirty will go in here, and I will. Um, Look how much easier that is. Good idea, Gwendolyn. Did I help him? <laughs> yeah. It's helping a lot. She knew it would. I know you are going to say that. I knew it would, Michelle, if you weren't so, uh, yeah. So this was about nine and a half. So if I do five, just under five. So yes, one, two, three, four, five. So... Yeah, just right there, I think. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to glue this down. Like here. And that way, when I sew around it, it will stay and it'll be nice. But I really like this girl game. Let's do it like this. Okay, now flip to the other side because pretty much seems like it's dry about that time. And I'm going to go from this side because um, I just want to make sure it's lined up about the same. And I counted from this side. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be just about perfect right there. And we'll do that again. Clint never uses these. They came with his... Um, that binding stuff, I think, wasn't it? Not those. Oh, they didn't? They were on, they came with a, that, a British quilting magazine. Oh. Hmm. A lot of times, I can't remember. They're cute, I may have to steal them. Oh, look, my hands are free. <laughs> okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working down here. And going to just show you really quick. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'm sure this video is getting kind of long. Mm -hmm. So I am just going to glue this down because I don't want the one, you know, this part. But I think this really, you know, holds pretty easily. So the satin, that's not bad at all. So I don't even need a... Uh, Clip. And then I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around doing that. And then on this one, we will just flip it over like this. 
and then just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I do and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and glue that fabric down and I'll go ahead and use a clip since I have them like that and I'm just going to glue it all the way around and then I'm going to sew it probably with a zigzag again and then I'll be back when I'm done sewing okay guys so um, I decided I wanted a lace pocket on the inside and I used my little clips to, and went all the way around. And now that it's pretty dry, I'm going to sew. But I went ahead and put the lace pocket so okay. that I can, um, you know, sew that down at the same time. So I'm going to go sew around it and we'll be right back and I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, guys. And what I did is I just did a zigzag going around again. And um, I think it turned out really nice for the cover. You think these covers really, you know, they don't take that much time, but man, they take a long time. <laughs> well, they're, they're so pretty and so worth that time. It is, you know, and I think it probably takes as long as like for you to do a quilted oh, cover, you know, yeah. because I've been here probably a good two hours even though you guys haven't seen that. So it's it's like a two hour cover. Um, yeah, but I think it turned out really pretty. That's the back. I may put like a big flower or something here. I do have a big one that, um, oh, who sent me that? I think it might've been Sybil in um, Germany. I can't remember. Somebody sent me a really big flower. I might try that or we might make our own. And then on the inside, look how pretty this is. And then we'll have pockets. I don't sew the center down because when I go in to sew in my signature, then, you know, that will hold it. And so the pockets will be nice and sturdy that way. But what do you guys think? Let me show you the papers again. I think it's going to go. I did not even, um, like, go over the papers. I know that. Or I didn't even look at them really, but you know, these are some of the papers and I think they're going to go awesome. I just kind of went on my memory. <laughs> these are some that went in the, um, so let me show you the paper collection we're using for this journal. Just in case you haven't seen the other ones, but this gorgeous paper from Stamperia and it's called Old Lace. So let me just pick one and we'll kind of um, look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I love that. Just to kind of show how that goes. Wow. Isn't that pretty? I, like I think it's going to be really nice. I and I think like a flower like that on the front would that be so, so pretty. Neat. And then there's Chloe. And then there's Chloe. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And hit that subscribe button. We are putting up daily videos right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Chloe.